Welcome to the show. <laughs> It feels weird to be back. I just, I just had a brain blank. I was like, wait a minute, I need to talk now. This is crazy. But now it's coming back to me like electricity <laughs> through my good. veins. We're back. It's good to be back. It is 2017. We are group settings. This is trend settings. I said it right. The yeah. new year. We did it. Good this start. is episode 24. Whoa. Is it? I am Ali. This is. I'm Ye Chan. I'm Chris. I'm Jono. And we are trend settings. I already said that. And we are back. We are everywhere. We love it. Now. We're back, baby. It's a new year. There's a lot of things that have happened that we've missed. <gasps> Ye Chan got okay, a dog. Did you really? I got a dog. Wow. I didn't know that. As a pet. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to fatten that thing up no, real good. <laughs> That's a love and nurture. Delicious. Now, <laughs> Ye Chan, you need to tell us about your trip because I'm going to check that the microphones are recording properly because I just thought right. of something. You never asked me about my trip. Run interference. <laughs> that was because I didn't ask about my trip. Where'd you go? Wait, where you been, bro? Uh, I went gallivanting across Europe. Did you see the Northern Lights? I did see the Northern wow. Lights. Wow. Extremely faintly. Oh. I could barely see it, but I did it's, see it. It's it's not a good time in the cycle, the year eleven year cycle that it goes That's on. That's right. Yeah. And I think this is like the last year you could even remotely see it. So now it's just yeah. nothing. Did you you dog sledded though? I did dog sledded. I saw that. Yeah. Awesome. I dog sledded and I reindeer sledded as well. How cold was it? Okay, Delicious. everyone. So it's a, it's a year of firsts. Bear with me. We're going to make a cut. We've never done a cut before. Whoa. But only one of the microphones is coming through. So, hey! <laughs> Time jump. Anyways, we're back. Okay, I don't care about your trip anymore. Oh, thanks. Let's talk about Ali. the Golden Globes. We're oh, also yeah. talking about Trump. Is it a fake news thing? What What's the title of that? No, nah, so the Russian hacking stuff. Oh, Russian hacking trap. Yeah, a lot has happened. And then we're going to talk about everything we've seen, which is mostly Netflix stuff, but there's a little bit of sprinkling of other things. A few movies. And then we're talking about a, a childcare D-bag politician thing. <laughs> yep. He's a D-bag. He's, he's, not, he's a D-bag of all varieties. He's yeah. not really just a childcare. <laughs> <laughs> but he's great at being a D-bag of childcare. <laughs> now, Golden Globes. There's a, there's a thick... A thicket of things <laughs> that happened <laughs> in the Golden Globes. That's a Robin Thicke? Was Robin Thicke there? there was He's probably the only one who wasn't there. Didn't right. he die? What? No, he, oh, no, just, his he dad just broke died. up with his wife and then <laughs> got real weird. Uh, you're thinking of George Michael? No, Alan Thicke. <laughs> his dad? That's his dad. Did George oh, Michael die? Okay. Yeah. Am I crazy? Yeah, hey. yeah. <laughs> People die. They look kind of similar. Um, anyway, yeah, that's that, that's that, that's a few things that didn't happen at the Golden Globes. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that's so bad. <laughs> One of the things that happened at the Golden Globes was a few weird things were nominated, which were great. That's so right. Atlanta, I mean, yeah, Atlanta was nominated heaps, and Deadpool were nominated heaps. Which, in history and kind of award show fashion, young people in general don't tend to get awards. Like the stats mm. on getting Best Actor, like once you hit forty go up like 30%. You're good to go. Mm. And that's awesome. And Deadpool got nominated for like three things. Who would have, like after watching Deadpool, did you think, hey, that's going to get some awards? (laughs) (laughs) Like, did you honestly think It's not an award type of a movie, is it? Got an award for me for being great. Yeah. (laughs) Oh yeah, it was was perfect. But Ryan Reynolds didn't turn up. Prestigious ceremony. He didn't show up? No. He did. To Jono's ceremony. to get my award. Oh, for your award. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> I was like, oh, didn't, like, HBO, like, not get anything? Was yeah. That, that was, like, Westworld a big story, Westworld got right? zero. Wow. It got, got nominated quite a few times, and Stranger Things didn't get anything either. That's crazy. Oh, wait, it got nominated but didn't win. Yeah. Yes. Those damn kids deserve an award. Yeah, which that's just the victim of it coming out at the same time as last year's Golden Globes. Oh, so they were almost... Yeah. They were more celebrities at last year's that's one, right, even though yeah. they didn't get nominated oh, right. at last year's one. Didn't they present an award? Yeah, yeah, they were rocking it. This year was just like you guys haven't done anything in a while. What are you? That, that's yeah. And I love the show. What else? Yeah. What else you done lately? Yeah. You, guys, like, you even told us you're not going to have the yeah. season. For you ages. should be working right now to get me a new season of your show. That's not right. Rapping with Jimmy Fallon. Mm. Anyway, anyways, that's that's kind of the lighthearted stuff. There's some deep stuff that happened. Take there. me deeper. So it was like the year of speeches that were too up its own butt. <laughs> and there was two Ooh. major ones though. You mean more act- than Ben Affleck? Actors are always trying to, you know, push their things on you. 
Oh, how do I? Damn, actors. I'm so uh, good at being got, humanitarian. Gotta save the right? planet. Uh, oh, Captain yeah. Planet. Uh. Which he actually didn't. <laughs> You're a bloody actor. He just did his job. Because he's a class act, that Cap- Leo. Captain Planet? Leo. Oh, Leo, Leo, right. The Cap. So yeah. Leo DeCap came out and presented award and Leo did Captain oh, Planet. I was talking about his Oscar speech, which is... <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, I was talking about the last one. This is the Golden Globes. Right? Sorry. Sorry. Mm. GG. Now, the first one in the succession was mm. Tom Hiddleston, who won for... I can't remember what the show is, but apparently it's amazing. That doesn't matter, though. <laughs> so, is that Thor's brother? Uh, yes. Yes. Taylor so Swift's boyfriend? Yeah. Oh, yeah. ex. <laughs> what? I think he said what? ex-boyfriend. Oh. I said, I said ex. <laughs> All right. <laughs> like, ex- I had to connect ex-girlfriend? the girlfriend What? Like, no, ex-ex-boyfriend. <laughs> And so they're confused. never, ever, ever getting back together, right? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, you really, that you was really shook him off. You thought yeah. about that one, didn't you? <laughs> oh, Planning that for days. That was like my mind working in overdrive. How do we, we get there? To... There's steam coming out of his ears. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So he started in like good fashion in just saying... Thank you. Thank you, yeah. Thanks to the cast. That's all of that. And then... I can, I'm not going to say it word for word because I can't. <laughs> but... That's okay. He discu- like he the way he presented it was it what's the country he was in? He was in America. America. No, he, the Canada. story he was talking about, he was in Sudan, I think. Hmm. Or, it's not America. No, it's like the newest country in Africa. South that? Sudan. South Sudan. That's it. That's a new country? Yes. yes. What? I don't it was just Sudan before. And wait, 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 wait. South Sudan got independence. They changed the Oh, okay, so they broke up. Oh wow! They're never ever getting so back it's a, together. It's a pretty, <laughs> it's a pretty hectic place, right? And then yeah, it's a pretty day. bad breakup too. Like so he was, wow. yeah, he was doing humanitarian stuff there, I didn't which know is that. which is great. This is it's all going well. Mm. It, it is a bit braggy, but it's bragging about humanitarian stuff. So like that's so he's like that's Bono. okay, yeah. But Ooh. then <laughs> he talked about <laughs> how people in the country were binge watching his show, but the way he was saying it was really making it sound. Like his show was kind of saving the country, huh. and people were just like, "Come I'm, on, man!" I'm genuinely surprised they were watching his show, though. Yeah, I was like, "We don't even get they're it the, here." Like, they're in the they... middle of a civil war. Yeah, like I didn't. It it was just so like at the end, your eyebrow just kind of get higher and higher. Like, okay, <laughs> good for you, I, mate. I don't think this is coming off the way you think you want it to. <laughs> and, oh, poor yeah. guy. But he, the awesome thing is, he actually like the night of twittered or something and he said I can see how you would take it that way I, like, I honestly didn't mean it like that though mm. so he, he, he kind of corrected which that's another subject of this which I didn't write down but I'm going to try not to sound racist saying this don't do it do it there was so many African American people nominated for things this year it seemed like they were overcorrecting for things. Ooh. Oh. Wait, in, can you can you name something that you thought that got nominated that shouldn't have gotten nominated? So Deadpool. I think Atlanta should have won, but I don't think oh, it would have any other person. year. Ryan Reynolds isn't a black person. I didn't say Ryan Reynolds. So best show got <laughs> Atlanta, which is a like a hood show in Atlanta. Is that the one with Childish Gambino? Yeah. Great. Which is it's actually honestly should have won, but mm. what should wins never wins. And the one that got best movie was Moonlight. Do you guys know what that is? Never heard of it. And nominated. It, it, got, it won. Did it? Yeah. Yeah, Moonlight. It's a big thing. I haven't seen it, but apparently it's the best it, movie. It does yet. look awesome. No but idea. It's, it's, it just seemed like... You know how Hollywood can't just like half and half of things. It seemed like they were really overcorrected mm. and just like, nominate everyone. Who votes for the Golden Globes? I who don't decides? know. I know who does the Oscars... Yes, the Hollywood Oscars. Follower and Press is the, is the simple answer, but I don't Oscar. know who that is. <laughs> All the members of the Academy? Yeah. The members of the Academy is like uh, actors and kind of everyone. If, you, like make, if you make movies, people, right? yeah. yeah. Kind of like how every main character in Star Wars now has to be a girl. Yeah. Like they're trying to go too far the other way. No, the funny thing about Star Wars is... Uh, they just no kids a girl. Yeah, but they're surrounded That'd by... That would be awesome. Like, the main character's a chick, but it's, the rest are men. It's okay. Snoke is Padme. She didn't die at all. What? Is that a thing? No. Oh, oh it is now. I don't think... I don't <laughs> think they're overcorrecting. I think it's fine. I think... I think you just find it odd because many... you're not used to them. But it's probably not that much more than 50-50. Mm. 
Like, if it goes a little bit too far yeah. one way, it's not like it hasn't been too far the other way for yeah. way longer. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I just think it was a little bit obvious. Ooh. It seemed. Well, it'd be bad if something got nominated that really shouldn't have. Like, yeah. Um, like Training the... Day. That one, Best Actor. Back, oh. back when this came oh. up. Like, <laughs> right. So that came up, like, 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah. The same thing. And then suddenly Denzel Washington wins Best Actor. That wasn't that good a movie. Yeah. I need it, some... Exactly. <laughs> I need some stats. I need some numbers. How many white and non-white people were nominated I don't know Whoa. if we have time to do that yeah. I, slash I didn't have those yeah. stats send us an email we need, we need a send me, send me some stats it I want some numbers feeling. another speech in the speech of speeches was Meryl Streep's speech <sighs> who decided to take about four minutes of her six minute speech to elo- six minutes eloquently <laughs> slam so Trump which she's the only person who can get away with a six minute speech probably it's do they normally play people off she didn't get an award she was getting a, like oh, a, a lifetime achievement ah, right. hold on hold on can I just say like I forget but I remember watching as a kid when they're doing the speeches and then they just start playing that music yeah. to get yeah, them yeah, off they stage off. it's so funny to see which they do that like two minutes in right they still do that yeah. <laughs> but some people just like keep talking yeah. and it's so awkward like yeah yeah, it's Amazing. the worst because they give her like 10 minutes but then they give the poor French guy like 30 seconds. Yeah. They can barely speak English. <laughs> well, he's, he's French. But he's the one like properly pouring his heart out. That's right. She's just doing this Trump terrain. She's just slamming UFC. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> she did. Yeah. That was random though. Weird. So she goes on a six minute tirade about how Trump's a terrible person because he impersonated a disabled person. Which is true. What do you guys think? Did you see it? The speech? He, yeah. Yes. I always see the speech. I do remember Trump bagging out a dis- disabled reporter. Yeah. yeah. I think it was a reporter. So her speech basically said, there was one performance this year I did not like. It was Trump <laughs> performing as a disabled person. Yeah. It was a very thespian speech. Yeah. Um, she does. Yeah, she does talk like that. Huh? Which is fair enough. Like, it's not cool, but... She is, yeah. like, the most decorated actor ever. He's done a lot of other bad things. See, the Trump strategy, I feel like, is to do other bad things so you can't remember. Yeah. So everyone was probably thinking back, <laughs> which one of these things yeah, was it? Exactly, like, yeah. yeah. He it's did like that? one he in a long what? list. Well, How what... do you, like, even I pick one thing out? He's just trying to tie it in with the acting it's thing. The, it's the bed of nails theory, I think. Because mm. if you have one nail and you put your hand on it, you're going to get hurt. That but hurts. if you have a really dense bed of nails and you put wow. your hand on it and you're like oh well not what none of them in particular stand yeah. out oh, which nail are you talking I don't about, remember Meryl? anything he's done because he's done so many things that's a great analogy I've never heard that theory before that is incredible it's genius it works <laughs> you, it's probably kind of like, if you yeah, had to like think the off balloon. the top of your head yeah. one mm. bad thing he does, he's done <laughs> you wouldn't be able to think about it I still remember Mitt Romney tied his dog to the roof of his car for a road trip it was like the only bad thing he did in the entire presidential campaign an and I remember it yeah Dude, was, it I, a, I, I, was he in a ute? No, they were like transporting their dog, and you put it in the ro- like on a, in a cage on the roof. What's wrong with that? For like eight hours. How big was the cage? I don't know, but it's probably <laughs> not enjoyable for <laughs> the dog. <laughs> dog. Anyway, that's the point, right? It wasn't dog that. The wind. It wasn't that bad a thing, but I remember it. Whereas with Donald Trump, I don't remember any of the bad things he's done. There's just so a many whole bunch of bad things. Yeah, which I'd honestly show you what the clip looks like but I don't want me a, something of me on the internet showing me impersonating a disabled person so yeah. just imagine someone being a real doofus head impersonating a disabled person and you've pretty much got it mm. yeah so he's still saying that no I did not impersonate a disabled yeah he's saying person. it was something else Did, but, doesn't he say that's how I impersonate all of the media yeah, he was journals. saying that was how I bag out everyone so, like, if I'm going to bag someone out, regardless of whether they're disabled or not, so I'm going to make it sound disabled. like I'm disabled. <laughs> right. I don't know if that's... I think I that's still I don't know bad. if that makes yeah. it better or what. I'm really confused. So, I it's like that saying... Disabled guy. I was just... I was bagging out all disabled so, people. So, what he's saying... <laughs> no, he's, yeah, so he's saying, I'm just making fun of a person making them look disabled. Yeah, which right. So, which, kind makes, of which insults every disabled yeah. person. <laughs> well, does it? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a really hard. I'm glad we got to the end of that. I think, I think that's why she she did it because like it's a really indefensible one. Like, that's right. Yeah, it's a hard one it's, to defend. And it had something to do with ones. acting, so it sort of tied in, you know. My only actual problem with it is, which isn't even really a problem. I actually, the first time I watched it, I'm like, that's nice. Trump sucks. <laughs> but I've watched it like five times now, and every time it, it's just so pushing views on you. A yeah. Little bit. Yeah. And the way she... So, at the beginning of the speech, she talks about how everyone's not 
from America, mm. or heaps of people aren't from America. Yep. And the way she kind of dragged everyone else into it felt a bit forced. And you could tell some of the people she picked out were just yeah. like, why are you talking about me? Yeah, Ryan Gosling's <laughs> face. Yeah. He was like, huh? He's like, cool. Oh, why'd, <laughs> why'd you say my name? I am Canadian. Don't <laughs> bring that up. That was great. And yeah. then she, the funniest thing I thought about it, though, was the MMA dig. Because yeah, it's like a 10 second thing where she says, the MMA is not the arts. No, she was like, if you take away all these people, then you won't have any of it, like, any art and all she you, said you'll only be left with MMA and what was the American other American football American NFL. football she says all we'll be left is with NFL and MMA uh-huh. and like millions of American men were just like see ya I'm okay with that <laughs> <laughs> that's what we want football, that's all I want that's, uh, that's a... I only watch movies because yeah. it isn't a football game that's yeah. right get rid of everything else like I'm not even that into MMA and I was just like what? why why, why, would, you, why, <laughs> but, like, why would you take a shot at them in your Trump speech. I don't stuff. understand her point. Is she saying that... Because she was saying we're all from different cultures. Mm. And if you take that away, we'll just be left with MMA and NFL. But NFL and MMA have heaps of like international people. No, I, th- I think what she was saying is... I don't think... If you take um, international people in the movies away, mm. then you'll only be able to watch international people in NFL and No, she MMA. was saying all you'll be left with is football and MMA. Which is half... Like... Oh, I'm, I'm, honestly, honestly I, I, I don't really understand what MMA she's is. To say. Yeah. MMA is, but football isn't. Yeah, I think so. Lots of black people play football. They're not. They're from America. Yeah, but <laughs> Trump, 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 Trump still hates Trump. them. MMA is a lot more international. Than <laughs> right, right. Of course, <laughs> I, yeah. I agree on. That. I don't. I agree. There, there's a couple of Australians. Ah, uh, Jared Hain played. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He's international. Like, over, international. I would say over half of MMA like big people aren't American. Is that a safe thing to say? More. I reckon way more than half. It, MMA, yes. UFC, probably not. You don't think so? Yeah. UFC no. is pretty American. UFC no, no, is pretty no, no, American. No, 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 it's. I reckon it's predominantly Brazilian. There's more... I would say there's more Brazilian fighters than but any other But the top tier country. is like the big tickets. People want to watch white people fight. Mm. Who's American? Oh, there's that Hunt guy. He's Mark a, Hunt? Mark Hunt. Aussie? Yeah. Conor anyway, McGregor? Anyway. He's Irish? But anyway, it was... It wasn't a well thought out point uh, no, from Maryland. No, it's... But it was a very short part of the thing. But then Dana White responded to it, didn't he? He yeah. went off. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like, oh, but I am an old white lady as well. She couldn't just end up being cool. <laughs> Which, honestly, when he said that, I'm like, yeah, the speech kind of did feel like that a bit. Mm-hmm. Saying saying something like that makes you seem out of context and yeah. old. That's out right. Of, out of touch. But Yeah, she might as well have brought Pokemon up. <laughs> <laughs> like those devil Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, just... Every time I watch it, I'm like, just like you didn't thank any of your family or anything. Like, oh, right. <laughs> it was a, it was a lifetime award. She doesn't yeah. like family. thank your manager or something. Thank the someone who got you all the jobs. Like yeah, that's true. Thank your dad or something. For goodness sake. Anyway, so then <laughs> Gosling gets up. Gosling, the man from Canada, the guy who doesn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Jeez, the guy man. who's in Blade Runner this year. Blade Runner. Is he? Yeah. He's awesome. With Harrison Ford. And Dennis Villeneuve. <laughs> what? Wait, what? what? He's a French director. What? He's amazing. Director. I'm going to sound Dennis like Chris Villeneuve. for a second. But this director is so good. <laughs> anyway. You sound like Chris talking about the Thor font. No. That was more physical contact than we've I had feel, in any yeah, other Yeah, what's going on? I feel great. But Dennis Villeneuve, <laughs> he did Sicario, Prisoners, oh, and Arrival. Good, good movie. That's, I good. haven't those seen Arrival, but I've heard it's good. Those are three like top five movies out of all those years. And Arrival's probably like number one for the last ten years for me. Was he at the Golden And Wars? he's doing the Blade Runner sequel. That's that's off topic though. So Ryan Gosling, legend. Can you tell yeah. I like him? Good guy. He's what did right. he say? He gets up. And he and he he said he thanks like the cast and then he goes you know I'm here because my wife's taking care of my kids and her brother who has cancer and like just talks about everything they're going through wow he's like, I can't do this without her and then gets off that's a good speech good speech that yeah. you thank people in your friggin' life yeah and you tell them they're awesome he because ded- they're the ones watching you he's, he's dedicated to her brother because he died he, yeah, yeah. He passed away. he's married. He's married to Eva Mendes. Eva Mendes. Yeah. The chick from Training Day. Oh, no way. <laughs> yeah. For random connection. And, <laughs> and Hitch. <Yeah. laughs> Good Hitch. Oh. And the other yeah. guys. Hitch is a great movie. <laughs> yeah. It's so lame, though. I freaking love it. It's so Hitch. good. Yeah. yeah. It's a feel-good movie. Yeah. yeah. Did anyone have anything else on the Golden Globes? They're so golden. <laughs> is that... Are they like a combination? They're like a combination of the Emmys and the Oscars, eh? 
Yeah, so they do TV and movies. So are scenes. they like the second tier in both of those categories? Because you'd rather have an Oscar. Would you rather have an Emmy as well? In my rank, I would say they get third. I mean, Golden Globes is second and Emmys is third, third or fourth. Yeah. But for TV okay. people, maybe they'd rather... It, I think it depends. Yeah, if you're just a TV person. Wait, do like Oscars do Emmy? TV or no? I don't think Conan... No, no. Conan, just, just just movies. Conan couldn't get a Golden Globe, could he? Conan O'Brien. Yeah. Oh, they right. probably don't have a category like that, no. eh? Anyway. Mm. That's not really relevant to this year's... If I had to choose, <laughs> I would win an Oscar. Just just so you guys know. Yeah. Good to know. Good to know. So you can yep. polish your golden No, Now, that is enough... That was weird. Of... Golden Globe. Golden Globe.